Dr. Devi Shetty and Dr. Ranganathan, Dr. Shetty, uh, so many people are obviously today in a state of shock because Puneet has gone too soon and there have been other celebrities, other very prominent um, Indian citizens who have passed away in the last few years at a very young age. There was Siddharth Shukla, Raj Kaushal, Sri Devi, of course, uh, you know, uh, we, we still don't know what the exact uh, reason was, except that uh, it was reported it was a cardiac arrest in the Kumar, Arti Agarwal, Amit Misri, Ranjan Das, all very young, all very young. Even Avi Barot, uh, former India under-19 captain, 29, died of a heart attack suddenly on the field. Dr. Shetty, why is this happening increasingly in, in, in the young? Uh First of all, uh, uh, Puneet is, I would call myself as a great uh, admirer of uh, Puneet. He is a hero in real life, truly a hero in real life. And whatever discussion I'm going to have with you has nothing to do with his uh, heart problem or his ailment. Yes. As a doctor, I, I do not like to discuss about the patient's uh, uh, condition and the events. Uh, first of all, Indians are genetically three times more vulnerable for heart attack than Europeans. Being an Indian is a risk factor. For as far as I am concerned, every 40-year-old male Indian is a heart patient unless proven otherwise. Time and again, I try to tell all the youngsters who are jumping up and down on the treadmill in gym, have you gone through the cardi simple basic test? Have you gone through it? The answer is, I have no problems. I'm perfectly fit. I run 10 miles. That has nothing to do with your cardiac fitness. You can run 100 miles, yet you can have a heart attack because half the Indians suffer from silent ischemia, which leads to silent heart attack. It is very, very important that people who want to exert in a gym like all this cardio and all kinds of exercises where the heart rate goes up to 130, 150, it is very, very important that they have just two tests, echocardiogram and a cardiac CT angio. Just the cardiac CT angio takes only two seconds. They go in and out of the machine and we can predict heart attack at least 10 years, 20 years ahead. And unfortunately, no one cares. Just because they are feeling fit, they feel that they are fit. It is not the case. So it's important to take the cardiac CT angio as well as an ECG after you turn 40. That's uh, something that needs to be done, Dr. Shetty. Is that what you're saying? Yes, yes. Every Indian must go for an ECG, echocardiogram, and a cardiac CT. That's all. And once they do it for the next three, four years, they don't need to repeat it. And, 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 and you do it, uh, I mean, how often would you have to do it? The, as I said, first of all, I'm not promoting my hospital. They can get it done in a neighborhood diagnostic lab. Every uh, diagnostic lab has a CT scan. And they do an echo, they can do the ECG. And once it is done, next three, four years, they don't need to repeat. CT angio should be repeated once in six years or 10 years even. 